The fire sermon is brought to a close with two quotations, one from St. Augustine and the other from the Buddha. The two quotations are allowed to interpenetrate each other. St. Augustine is one of the foundational figures of Christianity. He is one of the most important church fathers of the Latin church. Among his important works are Confessions. And T.S. Eliot borrows his quotation from St. Augustine's Confessions. To Carthage then I came. In fact, this is only half a sentence. In Confessions, St. Augustine says, To Carthage then I came, where a cauldron of unholy loves sang all about mine ears. This is the full sentence. The revulsion that St. Augustine feels for the life of pleasure that he led as a young man is manifested through this sentence. Burning, 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 burning is from the Buddha, from the fire sermon of the Buddha. I have already said that the fire sermon was preached by the Buddha on top of a hill near Gaya to about a thousand bhikshus, or as they say in Pali, bhikkhus. These bhikshus had been Agnihotris, fire worshippers, who carried out the fire worshipping ritual twice daily at sunrise and sunset. Now the Buddha discusses a very different kind of fire and he charts to the bhikkhus the path to liberation. According to the Buddha, everything in this world is burning. Everything in this world is burning all the time. And it is for us to find our way to liberation. This is what the Buddha says in Pali. Sabam bhikkhave aditam because all is burning. The fire that the Buddha has in mind is very different from the physical fire worshipped by the bhikkhus prior to their conversion. The fire that the Buddha has in mind is the fire of passion, the fire of aversion, the fire of delusion, the fire of suffering. In the notes that he wrote to the wasteland, T.S. Eliot explains that it is not an accident. The two passages, one representative of Eastern asceticism and the other representative of Western asceticism, are brought into conjunction at the culmination of the section of the wasteland titled The Fire Sermon. What is the message that the poet is trying to convey? The message is that if the wasteland is to be saved, it will be through asceticism. It will be through spirituality spirituality let us now ask the question how far the title of the section the fire sermon is justifiable now that we have gone through the entire section i would say that 
the title of the section, The Fire Sermon, is perfectly justifiable. In his fire sermon, the Buddha declares, all is burning. Bhikkhus, all is burning. Shavam bhikkhavi aditam. And the section of the wasteland presents picture after graphic picture of a civilization which is burning. We meet with illicit sex, homosexual sex, unholy sex, mercenary sex. We meet with adultery. We meet with bodies of the slaughtered soldiers being just cast on the ground and not being given a proper burial. This is in lines 193, 194, 195. White bodies naked on the low damp ground and bones cast in a little low ga dry garret rattled by the rats foot only ear to ear. Soldiers of the First World War not given a proper burial, slaughtered and then not given a proper burial, signifying the fire of aversion, the fire of hatred, which was responsible for the outbreak of the war in the first place. The section presents different kinds of burning and makes it clear to the reader that the world is constantly burning in every aspect and it is for the reader to chart for himself his path to salvation. Thus, the title of the section is extremely justifiable.